Hi there everybody, welcome to lesson number seven. My name is Bruce. Can you remember in our previous lesson, we learned all about the equation Q is equal to I times T. Can you remember what everything in the equation means? Q stands for charge, which we measure in coulombs. I stands for the current, measured in amperes. And T stands for time, measured in seconds. Today, we will investigate exactly what a coulomb of charge actually is. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define a coulomb of charge and use the equation Q is equal to I times T. So let's return to our question. What exactly is a coulomb of charge? A coulomb is the SI unit of charge. It is named after the French scientist Charles Augustine de Coulomb, whose experimental work gave us Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law relates the force that point charges exert on each other with their distance of separation and their charge. We know that Q stands for charge and we measure charge in coulombs. We also know that current is the rate of flow of charge. Now the flow of charge arises due to the movement of electrons between atoms. Look at the simple animation to understand what I mean when I describe current as the flow of electrons between atoms. As you know, electrons are very, very small particles. So what we do in physics is that we take an enormous number of these particles and group them together as one unit. We call this unit a coulomb. One coulomb of charge is the amount of charge that passes a point in a conductor when a steady current of one ampere is maintained for one second. Now let's practice using our equation Q is equal to I times T. The question reads, how many coulombs of charge will pass through a light bulb when a current of 5 amperes is maintained for one minute? First of all, I must organize the information. So let's write down the current, which is equal to 5 amperes. The time is equal to 1 minute. And Q, the charge, is what we are looking for. Now there's something here I must warn you about. Do you notice that the time that they've given you is quoted in minutes? Do you remember that the SI unit for time is the second? So before we carry on with the problem, we must convert our time into SI units. In other words, convert one minute into seconds. Right, so one minute is going to equal 60 seconds. Now, let me write down my equation. Q is equal to I times T. I will now substitute into the formula. I is 5 amperes. Time is 60 seconds, and therefore my charge is now measured as 300 coulombs. How did you find that first problem? I hope you did well in it. Now let's try another problem. If the current through a flood lamp is 6,35 amperes, what charge passes through it in 5 minutes? Again, let's organize our information. Current I is equal to 6,35 amperes. Time, again, is in minutes. And Q, the charge, is what we're trying to find out. Again, you can see that we've got a problem in that they've given us time in minutes. So we must now convert five minutes into seconds. What do we do? We simply multiply five minutes by 60 seconds and we get a total of 300 seconds. So let's write that down. Five minutes is equal to 300 seconds. Now, let's do the calculation. We write down our formula. Q is equal to I times T. We substitute into the formula 6,35 amperes multiplied by 300 seconds. And what do we get? That's correct, an answer of 1,905 coulombs. 
you may well be asked in certain other problems to rearrange the formula. For example, to rearrange it to calculate the time. Let's see how this will work. How long does it take for 600 coulombs of charge to pass a point in a conductor when the current is 4 amperes? Again, let's write down our information. Charge Q is equal to 600 coulombs. Our current I is equal to 4 amperes. And T, my time taken, is unknown. Can you see now that they're asking us to calculate the time taken? What we have to do now is take our base formula, which is Q is equal to I times T, and rearrange it to make T the subject of the formula. Let me show you how to do that. Right, let's start the problem. Q is equal to I times T. Therefore, rearranging it to make T the subject of the formula, Q divided by I equals T. Let me put T on the left-hand side. T is equal to Q divided by I. We can substitute in our values 600 coulombs divided by 4 amperes, we do the maths, and 600 divided by 4 will come up with an answer of 150 seconds. Now I want you to try a few of these problems on your own. Please have a calculator, a pencil, and a piece of paper ready. I will give you a question with four possible answers, and then time to think about how would you do this problem. After that, we will go and do the calculation together. How much charge passes a point in the conductor when a current of 10 amperes is maintained for 2 minutes? 5 coulombs, 20 coulombs, 120 coulombs, or 1,200 coulombs? The answer is 1,200 coulombs. Let us see why. Right, let's go to the problem. We know that there's a current of 10 amperes and a time of 2 minutes. I'm straight away going to convert that to seconds by multiplying by 60 to give me 120 seconds. I write down my formula, Q is equal to I times T, substitute directly into the formula, and we can see now that 10 multiplied by 120 will give us 1,200 coulombs. Now for your second question. How long does it take for 5 coulombs of charge to pass a point in a circuit when the current is 10 amperes? Is it 0,5 seconds, 2 seconds, 5 seconds, or 50 seconds? The answer is 0,5 seconds. Let's check your calculation. As usual, we write down our information first. We have 5 coulombs of charge, so Q is equal to 5 coulombs, and we have a current of 10 amperes flowing through the circuit. And we asked to calculate time. Again, we must make time the subject of the formula. So we write down, Q is equal to I times T, therefore Q divided by I equals T, therefore T is equal to Q divided by I, which is equal to 5 divided by 10, which will then equal 0, 0,5 seconds. And now for our final question. 2,400 coulombs of charge passes through the ammeter in one minute. What current passes through the ammeter? Will it be 2,400 amperes, 400 amperes, 40 amperes, or 4 amperes? Right, let's begin as usual. Q, the amount of charge, is 2,400 coulombs, and the time is equal to one minute. Again, equaling 60 seconds. 
we write down our formula, Q is equal to I times T, therefore I is equal to Q divided by T. Substitute our values for Q and T, 2,400 coulombs divided by 60 seconds gives us an answer of 40 amperes. Before we wrap up, let me remind you that you must continue practicing these type of problems to calculate current, charge and time from the basic equation Q is equal to I times T. Use your textbook or notes or even ask your teacher for additional problems to allow you to practice this because you have now learnt a new skill and the more practice you get, the better you will become at doing these type of problems. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, goodbye for now.